The regulations are on the way. Now what are the opportunities for NBAA members who want to capitalize on the advent of unmanned aircraft systems? From NBAA 2014, I'm Pete Combs with a Convention Video Minute. 24 hours after the FAA promised attendees here a notice of proposed rulemaking on unmanned aircraft systems would be out by the end of the year, industry representatives are talking about how NBAA members can get involved in UAS. Why would we want to do that? Well, because what is now a $13 billion industry is expected to grow more than tenfold in the next decade. What can NBAA members do to capitalize on the opportunity? Keeping communications open, open with us, sharing ideas, uh, you know, open combo between between us and you is, is are really the, the two, two major issues that I would suggest that you uh, consider. UAS technology is evolving in a direction that researcher Al Palmer says takes it much closer to commercial viability. If we're going to commercialize unmanned aircraft systems, you got to fly beyond line of sight. Well, how do we do that? There's technology out there now that will allow it to happen. The rules, the regulations, the standards, procedures have to catch up to that. Both Palmer and McDuffie say now is the time. If you see an opportunity in UAS development or operation, both counsel against hesitation. Unmanned systems are coming. The question is, what will your flight department do with them? With a convention video minute from NBAA 2014, I'm Pete Combs.